Hi, welcome back to Senior Ear. I'm your host, Aisha Malik, and today we have... Taylor. Perfect. I hate to just drop it. Um, so, Taylor, how are you doing? I'm great. How about you? Doing pretty good. Um, so this is a podcast, basically, um, for the seniors who are graduating, um, saying what they want to do for the rest of their lives, how their four years have been spent here. Um, can you tell us your favorite high school memory? Um, my favorite high school memory... I would say probably um, in my sophomore lacrosse season, Mm -hmm. we made it to Shore Conference semifinals, and um, it was a little rough once we got to the game, but um, one of the seniors, Shannon Ross, she got a lacrosse ball, and she wrote, like, Shore Conference semis on it, Mm -hmm. and we all passed it around and took pictures with it and everything, and we were all just so excited that we kind of got that far, and it was just super fun. So... That actually sounds amazing. I've never really been into sports, but, like, I don't know. I think sports are really cool. Yeah, um, it was, it's, like, crazy how much something, like, even you could say, like, trivial like that could really just get you so excited and mm-hmm. bring everyone together. Do you play any other sports? I don't. I used to play basketball in middle school, but I stopped then. Just Hi. lacrosse for me. Um, I got really into lacrosse, and I would travel all the time because <laughs> I was used to just, like, getting the ball and running, but mm-hmm. can't do that in basketball. So, yeah, I would just travel so much, and every time I was playing, I was just like, man, I wish it was lacrosse, and <laughs> so then i just stick with that. Um, what position do you play? I'm a midfielder. What is that? <laughs> um, so I don't know. Usually I start out um, on the draw, which is just, like, the center circle, mm-hmm. and um, – they, it's like a 50-50, basically like a tip-off in basketball. And um, so I'll start there and I go everywhere on the field where like attack would only stay in one end and defense would only stay in one end. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, a lot like, of running. <laughs> if there's only like, if you only play like one sport, is there any other like clubs you're in? Yeah, um, I'm in double dutch. I am doing sports medicine um, sometimes I usually forget about it though. I feel kind of bad. Sorry, Zim. Um, I do Spanish club class officers, but I, yeah, I usually do lacrosse all year round. So it kind of takes up a lot of time, but you double dutch with Hoff. Yeah. I'm really Hoff bad. Hoff tried to like get me into double dutch and I was like, I really don't want to. No, I <laughs> I'm horrible at it. I can do some turning. My sister was a captain her oh. senior year, so Got the good double dutch jeans, but I <laughs> gotcha. So, um, what's sports medicine? That's a club. Um, well, not sports medicine. It's really athletic training. Oh, but okay. Yeah, help out Zim in the training room. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so who would you say like your mentor was like throughout the past four years of high school? Um, I feel like I've probably had a bunch of different mentors, but um, maybe like. One of my coaches for lacrosse, Coach Kruger, she doesn't go here. Um, she teaches at the middle school, but mm-hmm. I would say she might be one of my mentors. Miss Klim came in last year um, in the ceramics department, and I yeah. had her for ceramics too. Love her, but she's probably one of my mentors. She just, like, was so excited about art right. and everything. And I had Miss Klim. Kind of, she's, like, so happy yeah, all she's the con- time. Just, her happiness is contagious. So it's a vibe. Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> um, so based off, like, mentors, like, throughout – off the topic of like teachers here like who would you say your role model is like in life um well I would say probably both my sisters like each for different reasons my Mm -hmm. sister Bailey she played um sports like she played lacrosse too collegiately um she has a job now she's um like a working with um kind of she's like the highest paid youth worker position in the northeast Mm -hmm. she works for um, a really cool company called Roca. Um, that's so that's cool. like really cool. She's just kind of like very thoughtful, very kind hearted. And my sister Morgan is just really so much herself. She's so um, like very strong, very yeah. confident. And it's just like, she's awesome. So I'm like, she's very just strong willed and everything. So both of them are probably my role models just for that's each a really different sweet. reason. Usually like people say like, oh, it's my mom or my dad. Or like people like will like name someone. They're just like, oh, like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like, <laughs> for he's sure. my role model, for sure. Um, <laughs> so, going back to, like, the teachers, what would you say, like, your favorite teacher is? Man. Um, maybe Miss Klim. Miss Klim? Molnar. I had two times in math. I don't think I know Miss Molnar. I love her. 
<laughs> yeah, I had her twice in math. She just, it's just like super down to earth, mm-hmm. really fun. Um, Mr. Plano might be up there. Miss Gower, Plano, I had freshman absolutely year. Absolutely not. <laughs> not I, Plano. <laughs> I had Miss Gower freshman year um, for acting, and I was the only freshman in there, and she oh. was like really nice to me and everything. So probably like give you an opportunity to like meet new people and stuff. Yeah. It was yeah. interesting. I probably should have taken, like, more electives as a freshman that, like, got me more out there. I should have. I didn't, though. I mean, it's, it's I don't really need it. I'm pretty outgoing, outgoing person, yeah. but it's still um, fun. Besides, like, the teachers and stuff, like, now looking at the students, who was, like, your best friend who, like, stood by your side and got through, like, through the hardships of, of high school? I might have to say a couple. Definitely Zakira Bay. She's been my Aww. friend since, like, it's got to be like third or fourth grade. I mm-hmm. remember she was supposed to move to Texas in fifth grade, and I was really upset about it. Oh. Never happened, thank <laughs> God. But Michaela Castillo, also one of my really good friends, they, they've just always, like, they're always there. Like, even if I don't see them for a while, like, mm-hmm. they've just always been there. Um, Brian Fisher, also really good friend of mine. Um, known him since, him since fifth grade. And, yeah, I would say... That's, like, top tier. (laughs) So I think you mentioned, like, Spanish Club earlier, and I think Mm -hmm. the president of Spanish Club I literally interviewed, like, two, three weeks ago. Julia? Yeah, she was also on the show. Like, I I think hers is probably up there, too. Um, Check it out. (laughs) Go check it out. Um, You're talking about, like, your friends and stuff and, like, Mm -hmm. moving forward. Where Do you have, like, any ideas what you want to do, like, in life so far? Like, what you want to do in the future, what you want to study in college? college? Like, college or? Um, well, I'm going to go to Wagner. I am going to play lacrosse Mm -hmm. and, um, I'll probably do business there. Um, yeah, I'll do like a business minor in art or something. That's pretty cool. Do you like, like artistic stuff? Yeah. Like in the like future future, I always thought I really liked architecture. So I was thinking like that would kind of correlate We just did, um, who did we just interview? Eddie. And he was just like, I want to be an architect. And I was like, oh, perfect. Start perfect. a firm together. Start You and Eddie can start a firm together. <laughs> perfect. Be perfect. Um, he was, like, mentioning about, like, his dad being an architect, and I was like, oh, that's oh, pretty sweet. cool. I've never, like, yeah. met anyone my, who's like, I want to be like, an architect. I think I'm, like, my head is always somewhere different, like, every week, but I always I mean, liked that. I haven't really decided, sort of like, what I want to do. Yeah. I, think I mean, there's no reason for us to know. Yeah, that's true. Got it's going to it's gonna change. It's bound to change. Yeah. Um, so, like, where's Wagner? I've never heard Staten of Staten Island. It's... Okay on a hill freezing <laughs> um it's really pretty the building like the main building that they like show everywhere mm-hmm. is in Sc- school of rock jack black oh okay yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah super cool um but, i got confused for a second that i remembered i was like aha yeah it's right by new york city so it would be nice yeah. to it's pretty view go there all the time mm-hmm. yeah it is a really are nice you gonna like come home on weekends holidays uh holidays <laughs> yeah definitely you gotta like see family and stuff and like your friends do you know like where your friends are going or anything i have no idea i haven't really heard for mm-hmm. most of them yet um but hopefully they stay close yeah ish <laughs> what was your highest like high school achievement and then your highest like achievement in life so far high school achievement um this podcast <laughs> really <laughs> just kidding um uh, honored pro- <laughs> Probably, um, like, 100 goals in lacrosse. Mm-hmm. That was pretty fun. Or, um, yeah, probably something like that. Just something through sports. They kind of bring a lot of achievements, I guess. Mm-hmm. And in life, I don't know. Still still trying to achieve more. Mm-hmm. I don't know if, I've, if I have anything that crazy yet. Yeah, I, I haven't done anything either. but <laughs> I don't really do much. I just, I just <laughs> live life in the moment and just yeah. do whatever. It's kind of bland, but it's okay. Um, so you're going to be leaving OTHS. Like, what, what's the thing that you're going to, like, miss the most about this place? Oh, um, I don't know. Um, probably, like, just, like, the little times, like, at lunch when you're, like, sitting with your mm-hmm. friends and stuff. Just, yeah. like, the little memories like that. Um, just the time that we would have, like, talking to these people or just, like, seeing all your friends in the hallway and knowing all the teachers and everything. Mm -hmm. Just, like, it's kind of, like, the school seems so big and there's people I don't know. Like, Mm -hmm. every day I walk around and I'm like, oh, I've never seen that person before. But it's still, like, such a tight, 
little community we yeah. have here and it's so nice to be able to just like see everyone and know everyone like say hi and um kind of just I don't know that like atmosphere of my high school having like this little community where everyone knows everyone like the school spirit and everything I'll probably miss that a lot just being able to know everyone and yeah see my friends I think all the time somebody else mentioned too they're just like like, now being, like, as a senior, like, I wasn't very, like, outgoing as a freshman, mm-hmm. but, like, now that I'm a senior, like, even if I don't, like, usually talk to somebody, I'll just be, like, I'll just go up to them and be, like, hey, well, like, what's up, how's your day been? They'll be so nice about it, and I was, like, that's, like, it's really nice to, like, have, like, the connections we have. Yeah, you know? we do. Um, I find that, like, really important. For um, sure. So, you might see this in the future. Is there anything you want to, like, leave off and, like, say to your future self or give some advice to your it's past my self? my future or past self. Mm-hmm. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Just don't forget high school, I guess. Like, say to myself and all the other seniors, like, yeah, you want to move on. We want to make our life, make new memories and everything. But, like, the memories we have here, like... It's part gotta, of your life. Yeah, yeah. got to keep them forever and just, like, don't lose touch with those friends. Mm-hmm. Saying right now, like, how much they mean to me. Like, yeah. don't want to forget about them. It's like, yeah, that's really it. Just Advice kind here. of remembering Castle? here. To my past self, I guess let's tell little freshman Taylor. Um, I don't know, just don't get too like worried about everything, like what's mm-hmm. supposed to happen. Like, just kind of let high school happen. Like, it's gonna be different for everyone. It's not yeah. not one way it's supposed to go. So I guess like, just let it happen. Have fun. If I just really also just if I got involved, like more involved. Like yeah, I did sports and stuff, but. Just, like, get as involved as you possibly can, like, while you're young so that when you're older, like, you can now, yeah, I, like, yeah. you're not going to regret it. Yeah. yeah. Great. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank Thanks you for, for having so, me. Thanks for being so honest and open and sharing with <laughs> us. That's all for Senior Year this week. Thanks for watching.